of legs up the wall so you can um, you know we've been putting the bolster under your head you could I'm just gonna use this block and you'll set up not super close to the wall so you know if your legs are tight your back is tight you're not going too deep right away so you just find that angle that feels okay I'm good here I can put my heels at the wall and support my head and we'll just take a few breaths there so take your time Set it up nice. If you need a support underneath your you know, hips or whatever you need, you throw it in. Good. Okay, arms are gonna come out. We're just gonna open the shoulders a little bit here too. So again, find a comfortable place where the backs of your hands can rest. Good. Okay, and then we'll just take five breaths once you're in it. Just allow yourself to be wherever you are and your legs up the wall. And just kind of take it like a pseudo Shavasana. So you're bringing in those powers of concentration, the powers of Pratyahara, withdrawing of your senses. So you feel yourself resting, notice any stretching that's happening. And we'll just add a little bit of extra stretching just by flexing the feet. So you don't have to go super deep. You could even add a little micro bend in your knees if you need to, or a lot. Good. I'm just gonna take three breaths with the feet flexed. I'm gonna spread the toes. Good. And then let your feet relax. Even if they wanna turn out, let, let that happen. Okay, so just as you are, feeling the back body resting heavily, back of your head resting heavily. Good. Okay, so if you set up very close to the wall, you might scooch back. What I'm gonna do is keep the right leg at the wall and just put the left foot on the floor. So you might, you know, if you, if you need some room, give yourself some room for that. And then the right heel, I'm going to center it right on the wall. So it's almost like the leg is, is supported and straight right out of the hip bone here. Okay. And then just take a few moments. I'm going to add a little flexion into that right foot, maybe a lot of flexion. And then notice if you're tightening the belly, the hips, can you soften? Let's say everything from the hip crease up is softening. And this right leg is just working a little bit to try and soften through the fronts of the hip bones. You can even touch your hip bones and oh, relax. One more breath. Good. And then I'll switch legs by taking the left leg up first and then bringing the right leg down. Okay, and then I'll just drop in, add some tension into the left foot, center the left heel, be with your breath and the melting from the hip crease all the way up, the hips, even in this unevenness. Good. One more breath. And now I'm going to take the left, uh, sorry, the right heel back up. So both legs are up. Now I'm going to keep the right leg where it is and take the left ankle, cross it just below the right knee. Yeah, and then start to bend the left leg. So you're moving into this thread the needle. So again, if you're very close to the wall, just scooch back or come closer to the wall. Good. 
Okay, I'm just gonna be here. And um, as you are just here with the right foot at the wall, the left ankle crossed over, just take a few breaths and allow that everything from hip crease and up to just drop into the floor. And then you're gonna add just a very, um, not a huge press, but just feel, firm your contact with the right foot and the wall. There we go, firm your contact. Good. Okay, soften your shoulders. One more breath. Good. Okay, and now just soften the contact of the right foot. And we'll start to move to thread the needle. And it, so you're just going to take the heel, right heel off the wall. See how that is. And then if that's okay, you know, take the right foot right off the wall. Take your hands, interlace them behind the right thigh. You could just keep the foot at the wall if that's better for you, right? Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to add a little flexion into the feet. Close my eyes or drop the gaze. Be with your breath and the sensations arising. Good, Just take one more breath. And we'll release the hands as you exhale, set the right foot at the wall. Now take your right hand and grab hold of the top of your left um, foot. And I'm just going to bring this left foot down into the hip crease as much as I can and straighten the right leg. So there it is. Then it might, you might even take, you know, if I hold it with the left hand and take the right hand, I can smooth out this right thigh. So I'm just smoothing it forward and then see if I can get the foot in. This might give you something in your knee. If it does, you know, you take the foot up higher. So you can release the flexion in the knee. I'm going to flex both feet and I'm using the outer edge of this left foot to really press into the right thigh. So I just feel everything move back. Okay, if that if you have the foot up higher, you can still anchor and you might keep the hand. So wherever you are, you know, just be here with this shape. Don't worry too much about, oh, I can't get that foot all the way down. It's all fine. You're doing the work, the hip, the knee, all of that's happening. Good. Okay, now I'm going to release. I'm going to take my right hand and just grab the left foot and assist it to release like it's a baby. And take the left foot up, both feet up for a moment. Anchor your heels. Take a full breath in. And as you breathe out, we'll take the right leg in, cross the ankle just below the knee. Just be here for a moment, just with, as you are. So we feel, okay. Now I start to bend the left leg, sole of the left foot to the wall. And again, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna firm the contact of the left foot into the wall. Maybe you'll flex the right foot. Just feel all of that. Okay, and we'll just take the left heel off the wall. And that's going to give you something. You might just be like, oh, that's good for me. Stay there or move to thread the needle if you'd like, you know, change the interlace of the fingers, flex the feet, close your eyes or drop your gaze. Be here. Drop what you can. And one more breath and then release your hands. We'll put the left heel back at the wall. I'm going to take the left hand and guide the right foot in. If you need to smooth out that thigh, you know, you switch hands. You use the left hand to just smooth the thigh, create some space. Then firm your feet wherever you have it. You honor your place. If it's too deep, go, oh, okay, too deep. Not good for my knee. I'll take it up. And breathe here, anchor what you can, but everything from the hip crease up is relaxed. One more breath. And, and then to release, I'll use the left hand to just help that right foot off and take both legs back up. And now let your feet just rest. 
So if they want to turn out, I'm going to bring it into like a version of Baddha Konasana. So the soles of the feet come together and they just come down the wall. And so depending, you know, how close you are to the wall, it's all going to look different. It's just fine. You're going to really press the outer edges of the feet to the wall and pull, flex the toes. Good. Anchor everything from hip crease up, relaxing to the floor. And one more breath. Good. And then release your feet to the floor. Good. I'm going to take that support out from behind my head, but if you need it, you keep it. I'll just place it over to the side. Take the arms up and over your head. Stretch through your hands, through your fingers. Anchor these bottom ribs down to the earth. Feel your feet, just firm the connection of the feet to the floor. Breathe here. I know it feels like, oh, I want to lift the hips. That's where we're at, but let's just be here. One more breath. Good. Now really anchor your feet. And as you inhale, now start to peel your hips up off the floor. If the arms need to come down by your sides, bring them there. That's fine. And then as you come up, you know, if you might push the feet down and away, you might lift your head and stretch your arms a little more. Take a big breath in. And as you breathe out, keep lengthening the arms as you lower down. So keep lengthening the arms as you lower down. Last thing to come down will be the tailbone. And then we come all the way down. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And exhale, bring your arms down by your sides, palms up or palms down. And it can be like a little bit away from the body. Take a full breath in. Let's sigh it out. As you inhale, press the feet, lift the hips, lift the arms. Arms are coming up and over your head as the hips lift. Good, maybe you stay here or we heel toe the feet a little bit in and closer together. I'm gonna to lift the right leg up. So feel like if that works for you, you know, you take the knee in, lift the leg, push the left foot down. And then exhale, foot down, lower down, arms come up to the sky and all the way down. And then we just pause. Once you get all the way down, take a full breath in, full breath out. Good, and we'll do it again. So feel the feet on the floor. As you inhale, reach the arms up, lift the hips, move your head if you need to, take the arms over, prepare your feet so the left knee comes into the chest and then up, you lift, you breathe. And as you exhale, we'll set the left foot down, lower down, bring your arms up and back down. Eyes here. Good. Bring your knees into your chest. Just hug them in. Rock a little bit side to side. You know, this little pose here, you know, I call it child's pose on your back. Bhavana Muktasana is the Sanskrit name. Is such a good healing pose. Like when you wake up in bed in the morning and your back is a little tight or you feel, you know, a little, um, not happy in your tummy. It's a great, great place to be. So, okay, let's just take two more breaths here. I'm moving. Whatever you're doing is great. Be with your breath. Good. Okay. Let's set the feet on the floor. Good. Heel toe your feet a comfortable distance. I'm going to take the arms over the head. If that's good for you, do that. And then let's just start to move through windshield wiper. And if you have your arms over your head, let's just play a little bit. So as the knees drop to the right, the left arm's gonna reach a little bit more. And as the knees go to the left, the right arm's gonna reach a little more. And let's just play with this. I'm gonna add a little bit of, um, you know, use the floor. So the feet push into the floor and away. So good. Okay, the next time your knees drop to the right, let's leave them there. And if it's okay to take the right ankle on top of the left knee, do that. If it gives you knee pain, don't do that. <laughs> and then the right arm can grab hold of the left wrist. 
Give it a little pull. Flex your feet. Breathe. And get all that is on offer right now. I'm going to take one big breath in. And halfway through the exhale, release. Bring your knees back up. Just pause here. Breath in, breath out. And then we'll drop the knees over to the left. And same thing, you know, left ankle on top of right knee, unless it gives you knee pain. Take your left hand, grab hold of your right wrist, give it a little pull. And then I just add, you know, from the hip crease, I'm pressing down into that right knee. And from the hip crease, I'm pulling up through the right side. And two more breaths. Great. Okay. Keep the knees where they are. Just release that left ankle off the right knee. And we're going to come up to sitting through the left side. So actually, let's do this fancy. Take your arms out to the side like a T. And then the right arm, you can even look at your right hand. And we're going to take the right arm up and over. And maybe you can watch it. And as you come onto the left side, you just start to bring yourself all the way up. But we're going to take it into the twist. So as you come up, you're still, you're looking away from your knees. Yes. Okay, that's it. Good. Now from here, friends, I'm going to turn to come to face like it's going to be the wall for me. I'm going to take the hands off the floor and then the feet come up. So you're here and then I'm going to drop the knees to the other side and turn and then the hands can come down. Okay, so I'm just going to move myself up. So that's, that's it. So now you're in your twist. Walk your hands behind. Breathe. Good. And then as you inhale, you start to come up. Your hands can stay on the floor the whole time, but maybe it's no hands. And then I'm just going to come back to the twist. You know, the hands can come down or maybe just the left hand comes down and we reach the right arm. So either one, you know, hands down, whatever it is. Good. As you inhale, come back. Find this, you know, such good movement. And then as you come down, you know, both hands down or maybe just the right arm, the left arm is gonna reach. Good, okay, that's it. So inhale, let's do it again. Just come back, Oop. I'm just gonna move, no hands. Come around, just the left hand is coming down, the right arm's gonna reach. Good. This time I'm going to reach the right arm up towards the sky and let that initiate the movement to the other side, right? So just move at your own pace here. Use your hands if you need to. Good. Okay. I'm going to switch again. We're going to, we're going to add on. So switch. I'm just going to turn myself. So knees, left hand down, right arm reaches. Good. Okay, this time I'm going to lift up onto the knees. So adjust your feet, you know, whatever you need to do, you know. You're going to lift the right arm up, lift yourself up, take this little crescent. Good. Okay, I'm going to come up to kneeling. So you just whoop, find it, find it. Second side. <laughs> yes, and reach. That's it. Okay, we're going to come down here. You're going to let the hips come down. And then just reach, adjust your hands as you need to. Yes, good. Okay, this time I'm coming up to kneeling. So adjust, 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 adjust. Right? Up, switch your legs. Left hand comes down. Let's just take this little stretch. And then this time I'm just going to back up. Here we are. I'm going to take the right leg. Stretch it out so we are in gate pose. The left toes can tuck under. Reach. Good. Okay. From here, friends, we're coming to sit into this version of tree pose. So you'll just move the left foot forward. Bring yourself to sit. Both hands down. Good. Okay. Now this can come in close. You can throw your prop there. It can stay farther away. It's all fine. We're just going to start with this little twisty thing that we've been doing. So, you know, your hands, if they need to stay on the floor, do that. Or take your hands up. Or maybe you take them all the way up. And just turn. 
couple times. So you feel one hip lift in the other. Okay, we're gonna come into twist facing the bent knee. So the next time you turn to your left leg, we can take the hands down and turn. Okay, what's your right foot doing? Plant the heel like it's in the wall. Yes, good. Breathe. Okay, so the, left, the right leg is planted. Lift your heart. And we're gonna switch sides. So inhale. And as you exhale, you come up, turn, and you're gonna face the right leg. The left hand can come down to the outside of this leg. The right hand can come down. Open yourself into this twist. Good, breathe here. And then I love to give a little neck stretch. So take a full inhale. Stay in the twist and just turn your head to look towards the left. Yeah, take your eyes and turn them to the left. And inhale. And exhale, come to center with your hands on the floor. Drop your gaze. So it's just resting. Feel your breath. Okay, stay in your powers of awareness, friends. In this sit as you are. Feel the sit bones heavy, the backs of the legs just dropping to the floor. And then in this concentration of space, as you inhale, maybe the arms lift. If your back is okay, you lift yourself up nice and tall. Lift the small of your back, the sides of your waist. And as you exhale, we're just going to fold into the center of these legs. So the hands will come down. You're going to know wherever they need to. If you want to sway, you know you bring that in. And just walk yourself into wherever your version of forward fold is here. Yeah, beautiful. You find your place. If your place is just dropping your head, that's, you're inviting it in. Then you bring in your powers of dharana, of concentration, of pratyahara, where you bring everything in and you deeply feel what's holding you back in this pose. And you say, huh, okay, I see you. I see you back, I see you hip, I see you. I love you, I honor you as you are right now at this moment. And I invite you to release. And that's it, it's just an invitation. And then you honor that with the gentle flow of your breath. So just three, four more breaths here. Melt what you can through the head. Even, you know, I keep my head lifted because I'm talking to you, but drop your head as much as you can. Melt, like as if you can just melt from the inside out and just spread out. Good. Okay, one more breath. And then walk yourself back up to the seated position. Good. We're going to take a side bend. So the right hand can come, and you can use your block too. You know, if you need a block, you can put it there. It can be on the outside of the leg or the inside or on the leg. And so you can see it's going to change the twist. Okay, I'm going to put mine on the inside. I'm going to act, spread my legs a little bit more, turn this left foot down, and then take the left arm. Okay, so once you're ready, when I say turn it down, I'm going more on the top of the foot. And then I reach up. And just slowly start to come over as if you're reaching for your right foot. Wherever you need to be on your props, you know, put them in. And then from the waist, you know, from the waist up, I'm stretching and I'm letting the legs now just receive this. Good. Okay, well, I feel like I want to take you guys into the next part of this pose here. So here... You know, if I take this right hand, and maybe I'll just lay it on top of my left heel, see if I can get a little bit more here. You might be able to grab the foot. And then if you grab the foot, you pull yourself underneath. But who cares, right? You be where you are. Good, okay, release. You're just, you, you're gonna feel the release no matter how deep you go. Pause here. Good. Okay, we're gonna take one more twist before we do the other side. 
I'll just move the block. I'm gonna just take this, lift it up. Okay, so here's where you might be much happier sitting on something. And so I'll just demonstrate, you know, maybe I'm sitting on my block and you can see my back just got straighter. So you sit however you like. I have space between this foot and the leg. So they're not right together, okay? Then I'll just give you a few moments to feel, you know, what you need to prop up with. Okay, if I take the block out, <clears throat> then you know, you can see my back's turning. So the whoop is curving. The work is gonna be in the lifting. So if you can lift and be comfortable, that's just fine. Okay, the right hand is gonna just hold the knee. The left hand is coming behind. And I start by lengthening and actually lean back. And when I lean back, then I can get all the stuff over. So I start the turn here, pull that knee in, turn yourself, and then you bring yourself back upright. If you can, whatever version it is, you know. Okay, firm the connection of the left foot into the floor. If you wanna wrap this right arm around here or take it in, you know, if you like this, or this. Okay, so now the feet are not sleeping. I'm gonna breathe into this deep twist. Good. Okay, if you have your arm across, maybe, you know, you take the hand, see if you can reach underneath, and then if you can hold hands, that's the pose. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but that's the pose. One more breath and then release. Okay, let's just stretch both legs out. Let's pause, shake your legs, untwist. Okay, I'm just gonna do a reverse rock and roll. So I'm gonna come to lie down just to stretch. So I'm just gonna scooch my hips forward, grab underneath, drop your back, tuck your chin, lift the legs, slowly roll onto your back. Good, and then I'm just gonna stretch the legs out. So feet to the floor, arms are coming over my head. I'll stretch the legs out. Take a pseudo shavasana in the middle. Here, breathe. One more breath. Good, okay. So we're gonna come back to the little bridge before we do the other side of all of that. Both feet to the floor. Arms are gonna stay overhead unless that's no good, you know. Feel your feet. As you inhale, start to lift yourself up. Firm the contact of the floor with the feet. Reach the arms, lift up. If you lift up higher, you move your head. And then exhale, slowly lower down. This time I'm gonna keep the arms over the head as I come down, I'm just stretching the arms, lower down, tails, last thing to come down. Then take the arms up and over. Rest here. And okay, now we're gonna do two more times. I'm gonna take the arms up and over as I go. So, and I'm gonna lift the leg. That's optional. Okay, as you inhale, lift, take the arms up and over. Find your place. I'm gonna lift the left leg first. Just open, maybe cross the left leg over to the right a little bit. And then release yourself all the way down. Pause once you come down. And then in your next inhalation, begin again. Last time, lift yourself up. Maybe the right leg is going up in the air. Good, maybe it crosses over. Breathe, lift your hips. And then exhale, release. Lower down, arms come down. And then let's just separate the feet wide, not the knees together. Take three breaths. Good. Okay. So we're gonna come up the same way we did at the very beginning. I'm just gonna do the opposite side. So stay as you are, separate your knees. The knees are going to the right. With the knees over to the right, open your arms out like a T and look at your left hand and then start to trace that line over your head until you come up into this seated twist, just as we started, right? And so as you twist, the right hand can stay down, the left arm can reach. Breathe, 
activate what you can, you know, like I'm pushing the right hand down. You can see here's me sinking, lifting, lift, and then come all the way over, maybe no hands, both feet come down, and then we're gonna stretch the left leg and move into your tree pose. So you take the hands down, drop the right knee. If you need to prop it up, prop it up. Okay, once we're here, I'm just gonna give you a few moments. Just feel what you need. We're gonna start with the hands off the floor and the turning. So just, maybe the hands stay on the floor if that's better for you, you know? Otherwise, start your turning. And as you turn, you know, feel whatever is happening to facilitate the twist, you know, the body is all connected. Good. Okay, so one more, and the next time we turn to the right, we'll move into twist here. So we'll turn, you drop your hands, left hand to the outside of the right knee, move into your twist, breathe. We'll inhale, release as you exhale. So I take the hands back up and I'm turning. We're gonna just twist the other way now. So we just turn, the hands come down, right hand maybe to the outside. And I just turn away. I'm using the hands on the floor. I'm using whatever I can here. Okay, we're just gonna turn the head. So stay. And as you exhale, just turn your head. Look over your right shoulder. If you can lift your heart even just a little bit. Good, breathe. Good. We'll inhale and exhale, release. We just take both hands behind you. You're just gonna come into the, this part. Just be here. Okay, the next pose is we're gonna fold forward. So you might, you know, adjust your legs, whatever you need. Okay, I'm gonna lift the arms up but I have to lift, lift through the back, lift the sides of the waist, lift everything, give glory. Good, and then as you exhale, that's when you begin this offering of this pose. And you put your hands on the floor, wherever they need to be, friends, you know, behind you, in front, honor where you are. If you wanna move, whatever you wanna do here, this is your opportunity to explore. Good. And then just allow yourself to bring in all, everything you're cultivating. The powers to feel where, you know, things are, say that's enough moving. And then say, okay. Thank you for your limitations, for your protection, for your presence. I love you hip, I love you body. And we're in this together. Melt behind your heart if you can. That's such a good entryway. Can we melt the heart? Take one more full breath. Sigh it out as you are. And then lovingly start to come up and wherever you want to put the powers of your sight. You know, if you close your eyes, you, you bring it inside and, or if you have them open, they're just resting, maybe half open. Good. Okay, so here we're going to prepare for a side bend. So when I say prepare, you know, for, I'll just play with the foot. I make sure my sit bones are even. We'll just take a few moments, melt, and then from a soft place, you know, the left hand can come outside, inside, use your block if you like, and then we'll lift the right arm. And then you take it over to wherever this goes. And so the two sides can be different, you know, just because you did something on one side doesn't mean it's gonna be there for the second side. So you'd be very, that's the powers of, you know, the deep listening is knowing, oh, this is my tighter side, okay. Okay, I see you, I see you. Good. Okay, 
So you stay as you are. You can go deeper here. And I'll just plant this left upper arm into the inner thigh and reach over. Maybe I'm gonna grab the, oh yeah, there are the toes. And then I lift the arm at the same time as I'm pushing this left elbow into the floor to see if I can lift. And wherever you are, you just cultivate contentment. And one more breath. And then lovingly release yourself out and then just come to be in the repose, this sitting, eyes closed, your gaze soft. Good. Okay, so here we go. Last twist is I just lift the leg up and then, you know, just turning around so you don't have to do that. But if you need to sit on something, you know, if this is what happens right away and you can't lift yourself up, then you sit on something, okay? You can also use your hands to help. So just find it here again, you know, there's some space between my foot and my leg. I'm gonna use the feet, so firm into the floor with the heel, with the foot. Take your time. And then when you're ready, the right hand stays behind and the left hand just holds the knee here. I start to turn and then I'm going to lean back. So when I lean back, I can turn a little bit more. And then, you know, then you start to walk it upright and you can keep holding the knee. You can wrap the arm and go in front of the knee. And let you decide how deep this is. And how potent, you know, you, you don't have to go super deep for it to be potent. So be with your breath. Be in your space. Bring all your powers of awareness, concentration, introspection here. Okay. okay, we'll inhale and exhale lovingly, release. And we'll just bring the legs back straight out. Just pause here. You know, maybe you still stay on your block or whatever you're sitting on. Okay, we're gonna come back to lie down and I'm gonna do that again. And you know what, as we come down, I don't think we're coming back up. So if you wanna put on your socks or your sweatshirts or anything like that, then do that here first. And if you also wanna bring in your stuff for Shavasana, just have it close by. And I'm just gonna set up my socks. And then once I have all this, done all the prep work for the rest work good okay so then i'm just going to place the feet on the floor like we've done i'm going to hold behind the thighs here and you lift yourself tall and you start to lean back and as you lean back there is a curving you have to let that happen the belly comes in the chin comes in and then maybe the feet lift and i flex the feet and then i'm just going to try and find you know i'm going to be here I'm gonna be in this boat pose. Maybe I'll straighten the legs and straighten the arms. If you wanna rock and roll, whatever you, is happening for you is good. And then I'm gonna rock and roll back. And I'm just gonna rock and roll a few times as a way of just you know, massaging the spine. Maybe your feet wanna come over your head too as you come over, that's, that's great. And if it doesn't happen, that's fine too. Okay, I'm just gonna do two more. And then we'll just lay on our backs. Good. Okay, and then come down and we're going to go straight to um, the block under the sacrum. So we've done all these lifts without the block. Now we're going to enjoy with the block. So once you're here, lift your hips, put the block any height you like. Low, medium, high. If you want to go super high, use two blocks. One block on its first height and then one on its third height. I'll show you that another day. I'm just going to pause here, just allow gravity to settle. Okay, melt into this as much as you can. Feel your breath. Okay, so just the same way we've been lifting one leg in the air, I'm going to do that here. So you kind of bring your feet in. Feel, you know, the left foot, we're gonna lift the right one first. So 
Burn the left foot into the floor. If your hands want to hold your block for security, go ahead and do that. And then just lift your right leg up. And if it stays bent, that's fine. Flex your foot. If you can straighten it, straighten it. And then the left foot can stay where it is, or it can walk out and you might just have the heel on the floor or you lift the left leg up. Okay, and then if you want to take your arms over your head, if you feel balanced, then that's the last place. And we'll breathe into this version of, you know, um, warrior three. And take one more breath and then we'll switch legs. If you need to hold your block for security, do that. And then switch your legs. Maybe they switch in midair and then you just find your version of warrior three. So if the arms can go over the head, great. Flex through your feet. If the right heel settles on the floor, that's fine. Or it stays lifted. Breathe and smile. Good. Okay, I'm going to take my hands to the block. Both legs are going up in the air. Okay, so be secure. <laughs> and now open your legs out wide to the sides, like you're doing Upavishta. And just press out through your heels, anchor into the block with your sacrum. And lift your legs up in the air, but now cross the right leg over the left. Just, just a little bit. Flex through your feet. Good. And now we're just going to switch, but we're going to open the legs out wide like you're making a half circle with both legs as you switch. And then we just cross them the other way. So the left leg's on top. Good. And then just come back to that out to the side and put Vishta wide legs. Good. Okay, I'm going to bring the feet together into Baddha Konasana here. <laughs> Keep pressing into the block with your sacrum. You know, the feet are, might not go up to the sky. Wherever it is, one more breath. Bring your knees together, lift the legs up in the air, flex your feet. Now I'm going to lower the feet to the floor and I'm going to try and get them to touch at the same time. That requires some concentration, some presence. And then once you get your feet down, just stay on the block. Two more breaths. Good. And after you finish, then we'll come off the block. Good. As you come off the block, you might just be very happy just to rest. Or you might be like, oh, I need a little windshield wiper just to release my back from that. And oh my gosh. I say, oh my gosh, because my back feels so settled to the floor on all parts. <sighs> so nice. Okay. And then bring your knees into your chest and do whatever you need to here. You know, rock them in and out, side to side, or just be still. You know, tuck your chin if you need support under your head. Then I'm just going to demonstrate how quick that can be. So if you need something under your head, just put it there <laughs> and then come back. Okay, we'll take happy baby. So your version could just be holding your thighs if that's um, better for you. Or hold just the feet. Good. No pose needs to be stacked, like totally still. So no pose is, even when we're lying in Shavasana, you know how much is happening. Good. Okay. Cross your right knee over your left knee. Take your hands on the right knee, on the left knee, behind the left thigh, and just hug this in. Flex your feet a little bit. Drop your sacrum, your tail to the floor, even if they don't, even if they're still lifted, just imagine you can drop it. Good. Okay, I'm gonna switch legs. Just I'm gonna do a nice circling. So I'll open the legs out to the side, circle them around just to switch sides, and then find your grasp here. Flex your feet, breathe. And, well, I asked you to set up by the wall because I did have some other things I thought were gonna happen today. That's okay. We have the wall. If you'd like to do legs up the wall for your Shabbos, that's fine. Otherwise from here, go ahead and 
start to set up for your Shavasana. But if there's, you know, you feel like, oh, I just need something else, a wiggle or a twist or, you know, throw that in, it's all good. That's good. Okay. And then it's gonna come in and I'm gonna add the eye covering. And I was talking about it in class yesterday, especially because we are no longer practicing in the dark. Unless some of you, I know some of you have dark spaces. But covering your eyes is the quickest way, you know, the whole idea of bringing the senses inside is the quickest way to get your brain into Shavasana mode is to cover your eyes. So, I'll, and I said this the other day too, if you don't have an eye pillow uh, face cloth, you just roll it up or fold it up, works really, really well. Okay. Cover yourself if you need it. So the body does, you know, once we're deep in our relaxation, the temperature will drop. Good. Okay. Good. And just enjoying this time of stillness and quiet, maybe some darkness if you've covered your eyes. Just rest really deeply, nourishingly. You know, almost like you're medicating yourself into, into wellness and wholeness. By taking the time to feel, to notice, to breathe, and to be. So, Shavasana.
and staying as you are, and scanning and noticing any place you're still holding. And give to yourself permission to deeply let go. To be aware of the support of the floor, the earth beneath you. And resting into that as deeply as you can. Just feel yourself held. Stay in your rest for as long as you like. Beginning to slowly bring yourself up and out. Take your time. If you have an eye covering, you can just hold it as you roll to your side. So your eyes stay in darkness. And then you could bring that eye covering with you as you come up or just drop it off there. And take your time. Okay. Let's take some time to just be in your stillness. Let's just feel the good medicine. As you feel ready, friends, you'll stay as you are as you inhale. And on the exhalation, joining the palms together into Anjali Mudra at your heart. Bow your chin and honor all that you are and all that you offer. And at the same time, you know, honor all my teachers and their teachers and their teachers. And just honor this great practice. On your next inhalation, lengthen yourself, lift your chin, and keep your eyes closed or drop your gaze. We'll join together in our May We Be Blessed mantra. Inhale. May we be blessed with loving kindness. May we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we be healthy. May we all be happy. And inhale for Om. Oh. Take a nice full inhale, breathe into your hands, catch your breath, Om Shanti, Om Peace, Om Namaste. Lift your chin and open your eyes. Offer this to yourself your puppies and to each other and everybody else. Thank you so much, guys. Mm. And then just take it in too, right? How often do we have this good energy? So mm. happy Friday, guys. Thank you so and much. And to you, how are you doing? Good, good. Thank you. We all got vaccinated yesterday. So that's very exciting. Hey, congratulations. Oh, yes. That's yes. wonderful. Thank you. Okay.